Hi, in this slide, uh, I want to address the question of how do we uh, assert, create an environment where there's pressure to continuously improve, but there's the absence of fear. Uh, and of course, on a bell-shaped curve, different human beings have different appetites for pressure. Uh, some people, uh, you can look at them cross-eyed and they freak out and they don't show up for work the next day. Uh, very active uh, amygdala, very, very high anxiety level. Other people just uh, don't have any problem. They just, you know, just roll along, don't hold any grudges, et cetera. So I have coined, or I like to use a term uh, called co-opetition. Uh, and co-opetition is a, is, a, is a combination of cooperation, which humans naturally do very well, and competition, which some people are much more competitive than others. And I can't be the best unless somebody else is worse than me. So there's a natural uh, kind of a tendency to cheat, exploit, put you down to put me up. Uh, you know, if it's a zero-sum game, how do I get a little bit bigger share of the pie at somebody else's expense, looking out for number one? Those are all the dark side issues or aspects of, of competition. Uh, certainly, we can't get better uh, if I'm doing a certain job and somebody asks me on uh, my black belt, first, second, third, fourth degree. I don't even know. I just, I'm just showing up doing what I'm doing. And so unless I have some measurable feedback uh, from people around me in the environment, I, I can't know where I am to begin with or what's possible and, and then even ideas on how to close that gap. So we need a lot of feedback to sort of know where we stand and where we might go, even within our own company. Like of the 10 salespeople, this guy does better than I do. What's the, what, how do they do that? I want to know. Well, these branches, how do the branches, how does this warehouse get such good cycle count accuracy or you know on-time shipping? What are they doing that we're not doing type of thing? Um, so uh, what we want to do is, is to say, of course, you know, in a, in a business environment, if somebody gets promoted from le one level to the next, there's a bit of a competition. There might be two people out of five that aspire for that spot and only one's going to get it. So that introduces a, a bit of a competition as opposed to how do we focus first and foremost on helping everybody get a lot better so the environment does grow, so we have more promotions and job expansion possibilities anyway, both within the job and, you know, through promotions into other areas. Um, and total individual effectiveness is very hard to measure in the NBA. Who is the all-round most valuable player? We can we can do that based on things that are easy to measure, like uh, how many points did you score? You know, what was your your you know field goal percentage rate uh, from three-point land, from two-point land, from the free throw line? How many assists or turnovers did you give? But you know, when it comes to who not only defended their guy the best, but helped everybody else on defense and was able to snag the most defensive rebounds or get the most deals that were converted and transitioned to, to scoring points. There's lots of little stuff that could go on that we don't see and we don't measure. Uh, there was a wonderful article on an NBA player named Shane Battier in, the, in a New York Times magazine that said, this is the most valuable player you never heard of before in the NBA. And so to look at the overall effectiveness, like when that when Shane's on the floor, everybody does better and the team wins more games, even though he doesn't put it light up the, the scoreboard as far, as far as traditional, easy to measure kind of things. So when we have rankings, whoever's at the top is a semi-false hero. And whoever's the bo bottom is a semi-false bum, and it's it's our it's our our challenge to say okay we're going to use rankings but we're not going to be that serious about them, uh, and so we we will look at the extremes and try to figure out what's luck what's skill what's not and so forth, and and not punish anybody necessarily it's just grist for our mill so the whole team can get better because we're all in the same boat we all want to grow uh, share of niche and and improve our our, our customer economics so we have better you know operating profit and bigger gain sharing bonuses and we can put more money back in the business and keep doing what we're doing so all all shareholders stakeholders win uh, I put down here a story about uh, a Mercedes uh, Benz dealer in Greenwich, Connecticut, where I used to take a car to get ma maintained, and I noticed on the wall a mechanic of the month, and it was one of atypically, it was completely filled out. It had been going on for two, three years, and every month, right up to the current month, they had a name in there. And yeah, I'm looking at the names, and I didn't see some superstar guy, some guy that got it one at eight, nine, ten times in a row. It seemed to be kind of random. So I asked one of the mechanics, so what do you think of that thing? He said, it's a joke. 
joke. He said, we have all been here so long, we really can do everything with our eyes closed. What happens is it's just the luck of who got, you know, the, the lemon car or more often the lemon customer uh, who <laughs> is abusing the car but doesn't want to admit it type of thing. Um, so we, we just really don't pay any attention to it after, uh, you know, overall. Sometimes when you look at uh, branch uh, numbers and say, well, why is this one branch year after year after year so sustainably uh, such a high return on net asset winner? It doesn't really matter what branch manager you have, it keeps winning and winning. Or maybe it's the first time we've noticed it and a branch manager you know, has been there since go and we think, oh, the guy's a genius. But when we look at a kinetic chain, and say, you know, what is the, the core group of customers that really are driving this business and how did that core evolve and how did the kinetic chain get aligned and so forth, we start to find out some freak of nature stories. And I'm not going to get into them, but, it, it, you know, to a certain degree, the original branch manager who found a niche and, 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 and penetrated the niche enormously was half smart and good and effective. I mean, give the person credit for, you know, grabbing an opportunity, but the fact that the opportunity was there and it was so lush and right, there was a lot of luck as far as the customers that they happened to fall in their lap and the competition being asleep and so forth. But hey, you got lucky. So understand why you got lucky and understand why it is profitable and make sure you don't lose it and take it to the next level. Uh, so let's turn the art and the luck into more scientific uh, uh, benefits. So in social systems, there's lots of uh, between the crack white space. You say here's a here's a here's a uh, an organizational chart of a company, but there's a lot of white space between the black boxes, and people cross train and help each other out. There's lots of stuff that isn't up there, and and so who fills in all of that stuff? And it's a goodwill exchange. I take care of you, you take care of me. But some people are more bigger givers than getters, and some people are bigger getters than givers. And you know we have to just be aware of that. So I guess the bottom line is, as we create this this benchmarking, and we continue to say everybody's got to get better at mastery, and everybody's got to help everybody else get better at mastery. Uh, we have to have a, a spirit of co-opetition and, and make sure that uh, we, we have a sense of enlightenment and to a certain degree, individual pace uh, and flow. What, what is, what's appropriate for one person and their digestion rate is not necessarily everybody else. So let's not say I'm the new boss here and it's my way or the highway and here are artificial goals and artificial timetables and we're all going to be there uh, whether we can get there or not type of thing. That's, that's going to cause some, some pain somewhere. So that's it on co-opetition. Thank you.